blood dark red and I got what I wanted okay it makes this process harder but I don't I don't want a mess of hair tracks everywhere so but this petroleum jelly baby this is like the best it's better than got to be glue or gel If this is your first time here, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this lovely burgundy colored wig using L'Oreal Magenta. Now, what I did differently against manufacturers instruction is I used the 50 volume developer instead of the 20 volume developer that's recommended. I did that because I've used this product before and I feel like when you use the 20 volume developer it comes out so dark that without light you think this is black. You know like I wanted my red to be evident but not fire engine red like a cool tone blood dark red and I got what I wanted. Okay, so, but I did that using a 50 volume developer. If I was to do this look again, and I hope I can do it on someone who likes to wear red hair, I would bleach a part to give it that fire engine red. So it would have like a real bright fire engine highlight, and then the rest of it would be that darker uh, color that I like so much. <laughs> but yes, I hope you like this video. I hope you uh, learned something for it, and be sure to stay tuned for more videos to come. I'm using four tubes of L'Oreal Magenta Color. Putting on my gloves so this red color doesn't get all over my hands and my nails. That's the worst. Now there is a metal key that you can use to get product out of uh, 10 foil tubes like this. I just couldn't find it, so I'm using um, an edge brush. I'm gonna make sure I get every little bit of it out. I'm adding developer, 50 volume developer, um, equal parts. I added a little extra, it was too chunky. Look at that. It looks bright red, but it'll be a nice magenta when we're finished. take my bundles apart and I comb them through so I can evenly distribute product. Look how bright that is. It won't be that bright when we're done. To the other side look at that it didn't even touch it so you got to be sure to take your time and get product on every strand this is that's like the most um, important part so I went through it with a brush and I'm gonna comb it again because you will be so disappointed to do all of this and to find out you got a patch of black hair Brushing it on through one more time. Roll it on up. And I put it in a Ziploc bag so it can process. Doing the same with this one. product 
comb it through. Then I brush the product into those gaps and those spaces. I separate the bundle in half. In hindsight, I should have opened it up like the last track, but I was trying to keep the hair neat and together. Cause you know, once you start putting product on it, it gets messy and all over the place. And I didn't want that. So I sectioned the bundle while it was still, um, you know, clipped together. It makes this process harder, but I don't, I don't want to mess up hair tracks everywhere. So improvising. Now this, I'm adding Vaseline to the bottom of this lace so that I don't get red color all over the lace. That's like the worst color to get on your lace, okay? But this petroleum jelly, baby, this is like the best. It's better than got to be glue or gel, but you gotta be sure to take your time and wash it out of the hair. Wash it like three, four times and it will also make bleaching the knots harder. So if you need to bleach the knots, you might wanna do it before you color hair because that petroleum jelly definitely coats the knots. And the closure or the frontal will always process fastest because it's ventilated. So I always color it last. So I get on up in here. I want the whole strand, root to tip, one color, but just not the lace. up and let it sit for about an hour or two and clean up my mess. All right, this is what we got so far. Looks pretty dark, right? Nice magenta and that's what I wanted. I didn't want a bright red like, the, like it looked when it was coming out of the tube and I use a 50 volume developer instead of the 20 volume developer to get it this color against the product recommendations. 